After extensive modifications focused on lowering cabin temperatures, I still found the cab over portion of the camper to be unusually warm. One day, I reached up and touched the palm of my hand to the ceiling and was amazed at how warm the ceiling was. Taking a thermal reading showed it to be over 98 degrees when the sun was shining. This led me to look at the roof, and to my surprise, I found it to be made from sheets of galvanized steel. I also found the surface too hot to touch with my hand, with the forward section of the roof to be over 114 degrees. As you can see, the sun has just gone behind some clouds, so the roof is not in direct sunlight. The white cap at the front shows 105.4. The indoor thermometer is showing 91 inside the camper. Currently, the windows, the big windows are covered with the Reflectix. Both the front vent is open and the rear vent is open, the back door is open. So with all that ventilation, this is the roof temperature. Okay, today is Wednesday. It's only 83 degrees outside in the shade. Okay, this is the roof front inside on Wednesday. 96. Okay, this is the rooftop in the center. the rooftop at the back. 93.5. A little research and many YouTube videos later, I settled upon Henry Tropic Cool, a 100% silicone material similar to the oven mitt I love so much. It blocks heat inherently, is reflective, and 100% waterproof. The perfect material for a metal RV roof covering. I started by masking off the front and applying the first coat. Okay, this is the first coat. Ain't even dry yet. 89. So about 8 degrees cooler. It's also 3.30, the hottest time of the day. Okay, this is the back. And we're now at 87.7. Again, about eight degrees cooler with one coat and it isn't dry yet so it's 87 degrees so it's 87 degrees to 90 can't tell between the two sensors and there's still water on the roof okay this is the front of the cab over Okay, this is the center of the cabin, the center of the roof. 80.8. The rear center of the ceiling. This is the center of the rear vent. 
Okay, this is the front vent with the Tropicool coating on the vent lid. Okay, this is the rear vent after painting the vent lid with the Tropic Cool. 84.9. This is 86 degrees, it's almost 1240, I'm going to go check the inside temperature again with the AC running, it's August 29th. That 86 degrees is in the shade on the back side of the house, which is continuously in the shade, it doesn't see any sun until about 4 in the afternoon. So that's as cool as it can possibly be. The front of the house is probably going to be at least 88 in the shade today or right now. Well, here it is, 1240. It's been one hour since I turned the AC on. My guess, as far as the outside temperature in the shade in the front yard here is 88 degrees, as I had guessed. Oh, it actually went down a degree. I don't see why, but anyway, it's 74 in here. Quite comfortable. I'm sure it'll get colder. This has been one hour. The day is getting hotter and it's going to get cooler in here. This is why the temperature outside in the front went down a degree. Okay. It's now 146. The day is getting hotter. It is now 88 on the back side of the house in the shade. Looks like rain coming this, this afternoon late. 46. And the temperature on the back side of the house is 88, but here in the front yard, which has been in the sun all morning, it's 89. The inside temperature is 70, so it's definitely cool in here, hot outside. Okay, update, it's about 3.35, almost 3.40, it's my time for my hourly check. It is getting hotter outside because it is later in the day. 90 degrees in the shade on the back side of the house. So it means it's going to be even hotter in front of the house with all the asphalt and stuff like that radiating heat. Okay, it's now 3.40, an hour after the last check-in. So 3.40 is getting to be the hottest time of the day. As you can see, it's actually 92 out in front of the house. That's in the shade. And it's 70 in there, pretty comfortable. It's 525 in the evening. It's still really hot outside. The outdoor sensor is now in the bed of the pickup truck in the shade where I normally keep it when the camper's mounted. And it's showing 92 degrees out there and it's now cooled off in here down to 63. Okay, again this is the front section of the steel roof. And five. And now for the forward section is what used to be the hottest part of the roof. The aluminum painted aluminum part that I have now coated with no insulation. Okay, today is September nineteenth. Twelve minutes after two in the afternoon. It's 87 degrees outside. And it feels every bit of it in the front yard in the sun. Observe. The roof still has water from last evening's shower we had. But as you can see, even the vent lids 
like they'll have water on them. And this is rinsing those leaves off. Okay, it's 448, same day, as the temperature's now risen to 89 outside, and uh, we'll go look at the roof after I rinsed it off about 230, 89 degrees. So here it is, 447, 89 degrees, the roof is still covered in water, so the roof is not hot enough, but it's still cool. 